Hi everyone, welcome to John Lewis Memory School. Today's topic is breakdown of processing and elaboration of information. And how they enhance memory, first of all what is processing? This is the basic act of taking in information through our senses seeing, hearing, etc. And making initial sense of it. Think of it like your brain sorting and filing away the raw data. There are different levels of processing. One type of processing is called shallow processing. Focuses on the surface level features of information e.g. the sound of a word, its appearance. The other type is deep processing. Focuses on the meaning of the information, connecting it to existing knowledge. Personal experiences and creating associations. Now let us move on to elaboration. This is the key to stronger memory. It's where you actively work with the new information. You go beyond surface features and process it more deeply. Examples include, relate the information to yourself, how is this concept relevant to my life? Number one, creating mental images. Visualizing the information helps encode it. Number two is organizing the information. Categorizing, creating a mind map or outlining the material. Number three is asking questions. Why is this happening? What are the consequences? Next, let me share with you how processing and elaboration helps you remember. The deeper the processing and the more extensive the elaboration, the stronger the memory trace you create in your brain. Here's why. Number one is meaningfulness. When you link new information to what you already know, it becomes meaningful, making it more memorable. Number two is multiple memory pathways. Elaboration creates multiple connections in your brain. If you forget one way to access the information, you have other routes to get there. Number three is reduced interference. Elaborated information becomes distinctive, making it less likely to be mixed up with other similar things you've learned. Now let us see some example. Let's say you're learning about the concept of photosynthesis in biology. First of all, Shallow processing, you might just memorize the definition, the process by which plants use sunlight to make food. Then deep processing with elaboration, first. You think about how you need food for energy and connect that to plants needing sunlight. Secondly, create mental image. You picture a plant absorbing sunlight and leaves changing color. Final, ask questions asterisk asterisk you wonder what food the plant makes and how it uses it. The deep processing approach, especially with elaboration, ensures you remember the concept far better than just rote memorization. Now, let us see some more examples of how processing and elaboration can be applied across various subjects. Let us take history first. Consider the topic you are learning is the American Civil War. Shallow processing is memorizing dates and names of battles. Deep processing with elaboration one. Understanding motivations, research the social and economic factors that caused the conflict. 2. Personalizing events, read letters or diary entries from soldiers and civilians to understand their experiences. 3. Creating a timeline, chart the major events of the war, analyzing cause and effect relationships. Now let us see mathematics coincide. The topic is solving quadratic equations 1. Shallow processing, memorizing the quadratic formula. 2. Deep processing with elaboration, first of all. Visualizing the concept, graph quadratic equations to see how they form parabolas. Secondly, connecting to real-world applications, learn how quadratic equations are used in. Projectile motion or designing bridges. Fencil, practicing with variations, solve various types of quadratic equations to solidify your Understanding. L. That's it in this presentation. The takeaway in this presentation is to find ways to make the information meaningful. Connect it to what you already know and create multiple ways for your brain to access it later. Learning how to learn by using processing and elaboration techniques is more important than learning itself. We shall meet again soon with another interesting and useful topic. Till then, bye bye from your memory master, John Lewis.